well, if it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. So, now I gotta pull this tire off before I even go to the shop to pick up my piece. Well, at least when I go to the shop, I can dunk it in this tire bath just to see where the hole is so I can plug it. Pain in the ass. That's gonna be a project and a half once I get that piece back. Just another thing for me to deal with. Why not? Alright. Let's go get that part. And that's why the tire was flat. Because there was two holes in it. I need a new tire. Anyway, here's the part. Here's the patch job on the piece. You can see where it's broken. But he took a piece of metal and ran it right up through into that bracket so it won't pop up out of place anymore well I got the pedals in place right and uh, this is the clutch assembly that comes in through the engine and into that bracket that I showed you guys that was so hard to get through there and turn and lock it into place it was just ungodly wrong well this is very tight quarters <laughs> I'm underneath here uh, trying to explain to you guys see this this little clip system here right that goes under my brakes and into there that's how the brake pedal connects there's it so I just hooked that up so all I gotta do is hook my clutch up I got my truck back so we gotta get under here hook this clutch safety switch up to that rod right there it's spring loaded inside and that goes on the back of it this little piece and this is your clutch pedal bushing. This little piece of plastic is $10. Believe that? It's a little clip. But without it, the truck is totally useless. Can you believe that? A little $10 piece. Hook that up and uh, away we go. Maybe. I got her running. She's running. I'm happy. It took me like four days, you know, between getting it apart and taking it, taking it out and putting it back in. And I press the clutch down, I feel no resistance in switching the gears, but we're going to take her over the road now, put air in the tire. She's running, she's switching gears, great, I'm loving it. Uh, it's, it's like driving a brand, a different, totally different truck, because the pedal sits up so much higher, and when you depress the clutch, anybody who knows what I'm talking about, it's catching at a different point now, so it's like jerking me around a little bit until I get used to it. Alright, she's been road tested, so all I gotta do is put my tools away and get this friggin' dashboard kick plate back in there and secure. And then clean my truck up because I trashed the bitch friggin' working on it. It looks like hell in here right now. Alright. Friggin' Lady Junkie comes up with like over a thousand dollars worth of plywood. Hey, can you run this up to Ron and something for me? We'll give you 50 bucks. I'm like... Ah, uh -uh. yeah, I put that stolen shit on my truck, get pulled over, lose my truck, and go to jail for 50 bucks? No way, lady. She's just so beautiful, girl, and I know that she works because I just rebuilt her, and I know it's not over. She's in 1996, and she just got fixed. We'll be driving around the town, hitting all the bricks. Welcome back, Dirty Steve, with my new hit. Hey ho, if you really want to suck and blow, then I'll take you to the back, let's go. You can be a part of the show, but I ain't gonna give you no dough. What's wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, so, Dirty Steve, he sung to a co-worker that song. And my co-worker said, dude, you're crazy. I'm like... I don't know, doesn't it take crazy to know crazy, or is that just a crazy idea in itself? But either how, they let me walk around anyway. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You got that whole somebody spit in your butthole face. Huh? See? That's what you do. Try it out on somebody. And they'll make that face when you ask them that question. I promise his. I almost clobbered the living shit out of a guy because I get out of my truck and all I see is somebody coming at me at high speed, right? And I was like, what? 
here is this guy just driving by on a scooter. But it's late night, Center City, Philadelphia. You come at me in high speed. You want some lunch, motherfucker? Huh? I don't know what happened. That big some bitch guy was truck and waffled my eye. That's not what happened. You don't go running towards the bears at the zoo, do you? Ooh, Teddy. <laughs> I'm not Teddy. Arr! That's what kind of happened. Ah, yes. Canned potatoes. I came across a whole case of them. So, I'm going to put them right here for people to find. You know why? Because that's the dumb shit that I do. It was good to share the whole day with you. Haven't done that in a while, so that's a good thing. Happy to be back at work, that's all I can say. Try to keep them bill collectors at bay, you know? Because yikes! Alright everybody, enjoy your day and I'll see you tomorrow.